Now at five, we're following a developing story. Sacramento police investigating a shooting near a regional transit station on Arden Way. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at five. I'm Steve Large. The shooting investigation near the Arden Del Paso RT station near the intersection of Del Paso Boulevard and Arden Way. Your reporter Shelby Riley is live on scene with what we know so far. Shelby. Yeah, Steve, like you just said, all we've been able to confirm so far is that one male was shot again right here near Arden Way and Del Paso Boulevard. I'm going to step out of the frame so you can get an idea of what we're looking at right now. We've been here for a little more than an hour or so, probably about 10 police vehicles here, a couple of CSI vehicles as well uh, right near that station. And again, it remains a pretty active scene and has been for a little more than an hour. The shooting happening just before three o'clock this afternoon and again, still a very active scene. The road is closed. Arden Way is between Del Paso Boulevard and it's closed down to Ox Oxford Street. So if you are coming this way, that is something to keep in mind. Definitely impacting traffic over here on Del Paso Boulevard. So again, if you're coming near this way, police ask that you do avoid the area if you can. If you can't, expect to maybe sit in a little bit of traffic. But again, that shooting taking place here at the 400 block of Arden Way. As far as we know right now, all is confirmed is that one male victim was shot. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated as we learn more information about this incident. But earlier today, we were at a different shooting scene near the Arden Fair Mall that the sheriff's office is still investigating. When you're out here but like with your family, it's just one of those things you got to keep your head on a swivel. And this man, who wanted to remain anonymous for his safety, has lived in Arden near the mall for almost 10 years and says a shooting happening in this area is not surprising. Sacramento County Sheriff saying the victim was in a vehicle with a passenger at in and out around 10 p.m. Saturday night. Approached by another vehicle who, I guess, uh, exchanged some words. Uh, we're still not sure what led up to the shooting. Amar Gandhi, spokesperson for Sacramento County Sheriff, says the victim was shot and the suspect drove off. The victim driving down the street to the Cheesecake Factory before getting help. In that same parking lot just two months ago, a double homicide suspect shooting himself in front of law enforcement while officers were trying to arrest him. However, one man from Davis says it hasn't kept him away from the area. You know, it's everywhere. You have to look and you show that today, you know, but... Uh... So far, I feel safe. Gandhi says with it being a busy intersection and many businesses around, someone must have seen or heard something. A witness testimony is going to help us a lot with what led up to the shooting. What if there was any dialogue between the two? Uh, that's going to be a key thing for us. This neighbor says he worries for his friends or family safety, even with just a quick trip to the mall. It's just kind of a, a pain to have to consider that. I mean, more than more than you do anywhere else. Now, again, the Sacramento Sheriff saying they are investigating Saturday's incident as a homicide to be on the safe side. That victim is still alive, but in critical condition. Of course, we'll keep you updated on both instances on over on our website, CBS13.com and on air, of course, as well. All right, Shelby Riley live at one shooting scene right now and then covering that other one from last night. And Sacramento police are also busy with several other shooting investigations uh, this day alone on Fifth Street and Vallejo Way in the upper area of Upperland Park. Police were called out just before noon and found a man who'd been shot at least once. Police have not released any information about a suspect description in that particular case, but you can see a lot of resources uh, going into processing that scene. And then overnight in Old Town Sacramento police also responded to a man with a gunshot wound on the 100 block of K Street at 2.30 a.m. The injury is not believed to be life threatening, but again, four shootings in the Sacramento area here uh, in the past uh, four shootings in the past 24 hours we're monitoring and following up on. To Modesto